Here we are. They the did meet. The Shit, they did meet. You said I'd shut many eyes forever. You were right about that too. Brown eyes. Walter Frey? Green eyes. I don't know. What was the last one? And blue eyes. <gasps> Wait, what? Wait. Oh. Oh. Arya's gonna be the one? I I mean, I ain't gonna cap. This whole time I thought, I thought John was gonna be the one, but... What do we say to the god of death? Not today. Not today. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, there we go. Arya knows what to do next? Okay, I guess... I guess Arya might be the one to fucking bop the Night King. I thought it was going to be Jon. Because, I mean, Jon... You know, Jon's kind of the leader on our side. Like, the leader on... You know. But, hey, I, I mean, shit. If Arya can do it, fucking get it done. Doesn't matter at this point. We just need to kill him. <laughs> Who is the green eyes though? Did I miss Make that? Every shot counts. Who did she kill? Did did, did Marin Trant have green? I don't think Marin Trant had green eyes, did he? I'm pretty sure he just had regular eyes. I don't know. Maybe she hasn't killed the green eyes yet. But the brown eyes are definitely Walter Frey. Right. Okay, Theon, this is your fucking job, bro. Keep Bran alive. He's attacking. Stop this. Stop it. Oh, <gasps> what the fuck? Where's John and Danny? Oh my, come on, guys. Y'all gotta keep tabs on this man. Just let him fucking... There goes one of the walls of Winterfell. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, they're fighting their brother. Come on, 2v1 him. Where's Danny? 2v1 him. Easy fight. <gasps> Shit. The dragon killing ice spear. Uh. Oh. Oh, God, the fucking... This CGI is crazy, bro. This shit look mad real. Oh, nice. Oh, we fucking got him. Okay. Dive straight down. Dive straight down and pin his ass. <laughs> First, we test the dragon fire, which I highly doubt is going to work because it seems too easy, but hey, might as well test it. Oh, didn't stick the landing, John? Fuck. I mean, we can still get the John 1v1 with the Night King, and then, you know, if he, if he fails, Arya can finish him off. I'm cool with that. As long as I get a John 1v1 with the Night King, or some more White Walker fights. Meanwhile, Jor and them holding it down, or as best as they can, at least. Try it. Dracarys. Dracarys. Again, seems a little too easy, but if it works, it works, bro. Nothing. Oh, this motherfucker smirking? Nah, take him out. <laughs> He's smirking. He's got emotions. Miss. Oh my god. Danny. That's that's too close, girl. Also, I feel like he could have hit that. John. 1v1! 1v1, 1v1, 1v1. Oh, they're not good. Cool. Come on now. Yes. Yes. 1v1 his ass, bro! Look at that weapon. It's, that's just made of crystals. The stage has been set. Oh, wait. No. Oh. I fucking forgot. But what? Well, that, man, that's bitch move. <laughs> Why not just 1v1 John real quick? Damn. That's cheating. We're definitely not going to win. Everyone that just died, he just gained them in their army. We're not winning. We have to kill the Night King now. We're not winning by just regular shit. Damn. Cheater. Fucking cheater. <laughs> all the Unsullied, all the troops, all the North troops, some Dothraki. They're his now. Oh, they're getting up in there too? <gasps> And now they have to fight against the people they were fighting with. Yeah. 
Yeah. Alright. Nah, no, not her. Come on, she died like a fucking hero, though. Ah, oh, Leon, more mom, bro. And there goes the Dothraki dude. Ed, Lord Commander. That's a... Hey, it's a... It's a I'm not saying, you know, that that is the move he should have done. But that's a bitch move. Come on, man. At least let me... Ah, we didn't even get the John 1v1. Okay, well... I, okay, we only have... Now we only have one chance, right? Blue eyes. Arya, do your fucking thing. Come out of the freaking ground like Naruto and uppercut him with a dragon glass dagger. <laughs> there they go. There they go. Damn, bro. They got their own strategies. Their strategy was to kill all the ground troops, revive them, and then send their own White Walker squad. Wait, isn't that the crypt? Oh! <gasps> All the dead Starks? Even including Liana? Bruh. Bruh. No. Now, what, do we have any dragon glass weapons in the crypt? No. Oh, fuck, bro. Come on, come on! The crypt is a place where dead people are. Of course. Of course. Now, okay. I couldn't think of that because I'm stupid. But I feel like that's something Tyrion could have thought of. Or Varys. Right? I don't know. Seems like a weird oversight. Okay. Daenerys coming in. Or Rhaegal saving his freaking older. It's Daenerys. Good job. Thanks, Daenerys. Fly! What, what are you doing on the ground? Daenerys, get your ass up! What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Get, get up! Oh my. Was Drogon resting? Fuck no, nah, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? Why don't you just fly immediately? Why fucking stay on the ground? Come on, girl. <gasps> oh shit! Oh shit! No, that's not how Daenerys is dying. Mm -mm. Damn, Drogon just left. <laughs> okay. Uh 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 uh. -uh. Uh, Daenerys? No, 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 no. You're a fucking Mormon, dude. Her true fucking savior. Her true guardian. Let's go. Damn, Jorah, he's too much of a real one, bro. He knows he ain't never gonna get it, but he still saves her. Oh, my God. <laughs> You're a fucking Mormon, bro. Oh, okay. Look at Sam. <laughs> hey, at least Sam's still alive, man. You going crazy. Grey Worm, good, still alive. Brienne, thank fucking God, she's still alive. How about Jamie? Jamie, good? They're not gonna kill Jamie off screen. Another amazing one shot. Very nice. Loving it. Theon's doing his fucking thing. Good shit. Ray Joy's protecting Bran. <clears throat> what are you doing, Bran? <laughs> Why is he still working? We already found the Night King. Let's go, Theon. Jor protecting. Oh, that's so good. Damn, even Daenerys is picking up a sword. Everyone in the crypt is gonna die. Dude, this is so bad. Oh my fucking god. Daenerys and Jorah are surrounded. Jon's trying to get to the Night King. Theon's alone protecting Bran. Everyone in the crypt is dying. And the White Rocker squad just entered. So it hasn't, like, the fight hasn't even begun yet. Because those, those are the real fucking bosses, right? Oh. 
You know, we learned early that the good guys sometimes don't win in this show. And if that actually does happen right now, that's kind of refreshing, to be honest. Damn, that actually looks like a legit goodbye. Is this actually happening? The music. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah! Fucking Viserion. Ah. Ah, Jora. Did you get stabbed twice? Literally a shield, dude, for Daenerys. Tyrion, you better fucking stay alive and keep Sansa alive, too. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting kind of emotional right now. John surrounded by the Viserion and the undead. I kind of like how the blue flame with Viserion is like unstable. You know, it's like coming out of his cheekbones. That's kind of fire. Bran, what are you doing? <laughs> what the fuck is he warging for now? Like, there's no point. Ah, dude, Jorah is literally cutting himself up to make sure Daenerys doesn't get touched. He's such a real one, dude. Oh, man, oh, man. Pod, Jamie, Brienne, fighting with all they got. Oh, is Gilly okay? Hello, Sam? Dude, Theon. Let's fucking go, dude. Keeping Bran alive. Solo. This music's pretty good. It's like, rem it's like reminiscent of the, uh, the Light of the Seven music. It's very, you know, it hits deep. You know what I'm saying? It's very immersive. Okay, he dropped Brands back from I don't even know when. <laughs> Theon. You're a good man. You are, brother. Alright, Recon. Thank you. At the end, he was. Maybe one of the best men. He started off as a shitter. True, we know this. But now, bruh. I mean, he's definitely redeemed himself t two times over. What if Theon was the one to take him out? <laughs> That'd be a hell of a plot twist. Oh, he's going at him. Okay, doubt this is gonna work. But, hey. A good try is a good try. Easy dodge for the Night King. Ooh. Theon, you real one, bro. Also, Theon's actor, amazing. One of the best actors in the show. To be able to, 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 to play Theon and Reek distinctively, amazing. And to become a new person entirely, actually fucking cool. How did uh, Viserion's uh, fire not go through those rocks, but went through the wall? Uh-oh. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> no worries. Damn, Jorah. Oh! Jorah's definitely dying after this, but he's not dying until they're all dead. Because that's fucking Jorah Mormont. Look at this fucking man, bro. This is a man amongst men. Look at him. Standing, he's been stabbed as many times John was stabbed. He's still standing. Fucking God, dude. This OST is very good. 
this and Light of the Seven, I'm gonna have to add to my playlist. <laughs> okay, so... If the Night King kills Bran, the Night King wins. So we literally need to have something happen right fucking now. Arya, where you at, bro? Unless Bran got a super secret special beam cannon technique. Damn, this dude's like, I win, bitch. This is super tense. This is all or nothing right now. I mean, it's pretty much nothing, but... Dude, John's just screaming at him. <laughs> Trying to access the Targaryen within him. <gasps> Arya! Is that it? Let's fucking go. Aria of Winterfell. Let's fucking go, dude. We didn't get the 1v1 between Jon and the Night King. Or really any White Walkers in general. But Arya did her assassination tank. And all, apparently Valyrian steel works. We didn't... We didn't know that till now. Against the Night King, that is. I, I, I had, a, I was, I was more than certain we were gonna use Dragon Glass because that's a. I feel like that was a hundred percent because he was created with Dragon Glass, right? Um, but Valyrian Steel works. Fuck it. Jorah. Damn man. Definitely one of the biggest heroes right now is Jorah. He actually gave his whole body to make sure Daenerys was okay. Who's gonna be the queen, right? Oh shit. We win. <sighs> Yo, those last like 10 minutes were fucking tense. Oh my god. So tense, man. <sighs> he can't even talk. He's been hit too much. You're a fucking Mormon, dude. For real. For real. You're a fucking Mormon. Oh. I mean, we were to expect some people to die. Honestly, I I expected more main main like characters to die. So this is you know, this is being light, to be honest. But I mean, seeing Jorah go out like that. It's a great way for him to go for him to go out. The perfect way for him to go out. It's just, it still fucking makes me super sad though. Dude, look at those bodies. God. Bodies on bodies on bodies. There should be more bodies, honestly. She's taking off the Tsunade necklace. Oh, she's done. That's it. The Lord of Night the Lord of Light don't need her no more. Oh shit. Fuck. Like that? That's how Melisandre goes? That was a very long episode. I feel like I just watched a movie. <laughs> okay, um... First... I want to say... I think the Battle of the Bastards was better. Is that a weird opinion? Cause, cause, I mean, I'm not saying this wasn't bad. I think there was just a lot of things I was looking forward to that I wasn't able to get. Okay. Um, like, you know, I wanted to see Brienne, Arya, the Hound, 
Beric Dondarrion, Jaime, our best fighters each have a 1v1 against a wide walker. I think that would have been hype as fuck. Everyone lined up, our best fighters, boom, take him out, bang, 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 bang. And then I wanted to see the 1v1 obviously with Jon and the Night King because I just thought that was coming no matter what. Uh, we didn't get it. You know, I, I thought it was kind of foreshadowed back at Hard Home, the Hard Home episode. You know what I'm saying? But I guess the thing that the thing, the thing that was foreshadowed was him doing this again and kind of cheating. <laughs> but that's okay, right? That was just me. That was just me being a fan and, and and seeing the best case scenario that of an episode that I would have just absolutely loved, right? Um, but with that being said, there was still I was pretty much on the edge of my seat the whole time. The tension was my my palms were sweaty the whole episode. So that means yeah, it was it was tense. It was super fucking tense. Okay, so that's good. That's good. Um, and I'm totally okay with Arya being the one because I, I did forget Melisandre did say brown eyes, Walder Frey, green eyes. I don't know who the green eyes were. If someone can remind me on who the green eyes was supposed to be, because um, I, I imagine the blue eyes was the last one on the list, right? So did Marin Trant have green eyes or has, has she not killed the green eyes yet? I don't actually know. But uh, the brown eyes is definitely Walter Frey. The blue eyes is now the, the, the Night King. So fucking Arya. Yo, Arya the savior. Arya the savior. Yes. Fuck yeah. The fucking assassin lady fighter. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Theon. I mean, dude, there are so many heroes here. Arya the fucking hero. Theon the fucking hero. Jorah. I'm, dude... Even though Jorah was only protecting one person, he was he was protecting the queen and just seeing him purposely, literally taking stab wounds for her, getting in front of a sword for her, being an, an, an absolute shield and not he, he was stabbed multiple times, you know, and still stood up until they won the battle. And then he finally his will finally said, OK. Dude, Jorah fucking Mormont, bro. His death was probably the hardest for me. Um, just seeing how he... Because we know he loves her. He, We know he's in love with her, right? And we know he's been cucked the whole fucking time because, you know, you got guys like Dario. You got, you know, her nephew, John, <laughs> right? Um, and just seeing him, you know... But he... but And, and what's, what's crazy is he wouldn't want to go out any other way. He's fucking... He's, he's totally at peace with that. That breaks my heart, bro. That's see. Oh, shit. Jorah fucking Mormont, man. Um, Ed, Ed died. The, 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 the Dothraki dude died, which we didn't know very much. Um, we had definitely... Theon and Jorah definitely hit, hit uh, you know, a little hard for sure. Because, I mean, dude, Theon's redemption arc, perfect. He started out as a shit bag, as an ass bag, one of the most disliked characters, and then turned into the one of the most... Uh, you know honestly reliable at the end he was literally soloing so many whites protecting bran right and saving his sister and just totally 180ing you know what i'm saying again recon rebranded fucking new man dude uh yeah jorah theon holy shit um but we won we won i do want to talk about so okay the battle started, Dothraki fire swords, they were taken out surprisingly fast. <laughs> um, they were on horses and Dothraki are like super skilled in fighting, pretty much are the unsullied in fighting. They got taken out really fast, <laughs> okay? I didn't, uh, I didn't expect that, right? Um, the unsullied looked like they, they held down, because I mean, I guess the unsullied have shields. That's why they had, they held it down longer than the Dothraki. But I just expected the Dothraki to do more, right? Um, also, I do want to mention, so the brightness, I was told to up my brightness to maximum. Um, and right now my computer monitor is actually blinding me, so I will turn it back to zero. Normally I have my brightness literally on zero because I'm, I'm a dark mode kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I was told to up it. So I, I literally maxed it and I still had trouble seeing things in the episode. So 
I mean, thank you guys for telling me that. I can't imagine watching that episode not in the brightness that I was using. That sounds like I could barely keep up. But luckily, since you guys told me to, to up the brightness, I was able to see everything. So um, thanks on that. Um, <clears throat> but uh, dude, so that happened. And then I mean, it went pretty much so I, I kind of predicted the things out that I was predicting or, or the strategy that, that I thought up of was more, you know, was more of a coming from a fan or, or the things that I wanted to see. Um, but uh, the efficient way to do it was to take out the main guy. And that's what we did. We had our honestly, you know, John, even though the John 1v1 wasn't there with the Night King, Arya may be the best person for the job. She's been literally training to hide in the shadows and one shot you car. And that's what she did. The dagger transfer. Achoo! Cool with that. I'm cool with that. You yeah. know, um, am I disappointed because I didn't get any, any, any way Walker one of you once? Sure. But that's, you know, that, 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 that that's me, uh, talking spoiled because you know i i just i just i just wanted it as a fan but i didn't um the episode was fine the episode was fine you know what i'm saying um again i was on the edge of my seat the whole time and i couldn't you know I, if i if i felt if i looked away i felt like i would miss something so it was fine in that sense um but most of the characters actually stayed alive really only theon um Jora and uh, Beric are the only ones that I could think of that are the main troops that died that like, you know, um, we looked forward to seeing, right? I wonder who died in the crypt. I hope Gilly's okay. I hope little Sam's okay, right? I'm glad. Um, also the crypt, the, the, the crypt. Um, I missed the fact that the crypt was filled with dead people. Okay. And I feel like John would have relayed the message to in, in, in the battle strategy room that he has the ability to rise to dead people. And I mean, you know, I mean, he, he was probably going to use that in this fight, which he did. So I feel like Tyrion would have thought of, would have, would have thought that there are dead people in the crypt. I feel like that's in that, that's like in his capabilities of, of figuring out. So even though I wasn't able to, when I, when I found out, when they showed it, that was my first thought. Like, wait, wouldn't Tyrion be able to, you know? Um, and then there was the whole fire thing with the, with John, how I wasn't able to break the rock. There were, I guess there were a few things this episode where it was a little confusing. Um, you know, like, like it was just put there. Um, how do I call it? Is it called like force writing? I don't know. To, it, I, I think it's called force writing to up the dramatic effect, but lessen the i guess the the logical sense of it right obviously the the dead in the crypt the dead starks coming alive is very dramatic but me thinking about Tyrion being able to think of that is where where it's like weird you know what i'm saying there were a couple times in episode where there was that but you know whatever i'm just being nitpicky so and that's and that's what i'm supposed to do as a reactor right i'm not i'm supposed to be honest and say whatever whatever so those are just a few things, but for the most part, I definitely liked the episode and we won. It, it only took one episode, I guess. I, I legit was, was, was gonna, I, I was prepared to, to sit here for two episodes to be able to take down this guy, but it only took one. Uh, it was a movie length long episode, so I guess that makes sense. But, um, okay. That is one threat neutralized. Um, unfortunately we still have another threat and she goes by the name of Cersei. And I mean, the Dothraki are gone. Half of the Unsullied are gone. Half of the North are gone. Most of our troops are gone. So, I mean, if we fight Cersei now, Drogon is severely injured. I imagine Rhaegal is also, is also injured. And Cersei has, at this point, like 20 plus scorpions, uh, which is the dragon killing weapon. So, I mean, shit, Cersei might have a chance now. If they fight, Cersei might have a chance to beat Daenerys because of those dragon killing weapons, if they've manufactured enough of them. So we got the final boss. I think it's safe to say that the Night King was the final boss. Now we got to get the, 
I don't, even, I don't even know what to call Cersei. Just the one in the way? <laughs> She's in the way. We got to take her out. Um, cool. All right. Well, not much more I can say here, y'all. It was fire. I enjoyed it. You know, I did expect more. I did. I ain't going to cap. I did expect more. The 1v1s. Um, you know, more Arya action, I guess. We got that little scene of Arya doing her thing. Um, I did want I did want a little bit more Arya though. Um, yeah, it was mostly just them chopping off the heads of the the undead whites, right? There was a little bit too much of that, and there could have been more of the epic White Walker fighting, but or the dragon fighting too. But I mean, again, that's just me nitpicking. That's just me being a fan of the show and wanting to see it. You know, being ten out of ten, it was like eight out of ten. So it was cool. Um, but yeah, the brightness thing, I can't imagine watching this episode at uh, not any lower of the brightness that I watched it in. Fuck, that must have been terrible. <laughs> I, I can't imagine. Look, thank y'all for telling me to watch it in super bright. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, not much more I can say. Love the episode. Uh, before I end though, if you want to watch the full reaction of this, and if you're on the YouTube, it's probably going to be in two parts because I was pretty much talking the whole goddamn time and there are a lot of things that I do want to capture in the reaction for the YouTube. So it's probably going to be in two parts, but if you want to watch the full one, go to the Patreon. And also my Discord. Um, join our little server, you know what I'm saying? And also during the weekends, Friday, Saturday, Sundays at 12 p.m. PST on this channel right here, I like to live stream and play games for the most part. Um, it's very fun, very chill, very laid back vibes. So come on in during the weekends and say hi in the chat. Other than that, I'm out of here. Y'all have a good one and I'll see y'all for the next episode of Game of Thrones, all right? This battle, it was fire, but not as good as Battle of the Bastards, all right? Peace.